Testing, testing, testing. I did a few videos yesterday. And in these videos, I said some things that upset a couple people. I was not speaking in the manner in which I usually speak. And I want to clarify some things because I don't want people to take what I said wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and spit. Now, um, yesterday, I was having an intellectual conversation with a few people. And whenever I have this conversation, the same things comes up. What would be people's incentive to go work? Now, if we as a people provided 95% of the shit that we have to pay for to each other, I think that the world would be a better place if we didn't have the bonds of debt and societal issues holding us down. If we didn't have to worry about shit that we are capable of providing without cost to people. And what I mean by without cost is who owns what? Um, somebody wrote me a letter speaking of Africa. And uh, when the Europeans got there, there was no sense of boundaries. Nobody owned anything. Nobody had anything until the continent was split and divided. Therefore, structure was created. Um, I think that's a load of bullshit. Um, just because there's no square or box that you have to stand in, that doesn't mean that you don't know your boundaries. Um, the Western civilization, uh, the Europeans in particular, um, they are not gods. Uh, the God image, the God feeling, the God mentality is rampant throughout most of them. Um, not all white people are created equal. You could not stand next to the Queen of England and say you have any blood ties to her if you're white unless you have blood ties to her. In other words, you're not good enough. Um, I need to progress and move on. I've talked for two minutes and 22 seconds on that subject. Let me get back to yesterday. So I said some things that offended a lot of white people, but I'm tired of seeing crime committed by white people turn on my news and see crimes committed by black people and Mexicans. I'm tired of being around people who will see a black man being arrested on TV and say, oh, there they go again, and not recognizing that they're in a fucking black man's house. Understand what I'm saying. I'm not mad at all white people. I'm mad at those white people who can't open up their eyes and see beyond color. Whenever there's a Mexican or a black guy on TV, I gotta hear gasps and, oh, and people getting upset and pissed off because some Mexican or somebody black did a crime, but we can walk down the same fucking street and see white people mistreating other people or white people fucking calling people names or fucking with people, and that's not bad. It's, oh, it's an isolated situation. We don't all act like that. But now, if you show a minority of people, you show if you advertise all the minorities' crimes, what about the majority? You don't see their crimes. You see what I'm saying? That's why you don't see poor white people's fucking crimes on TV because rich white people do not want the stain of, of blacks and Mexicans. They don't want that same fucking stain on them. You can go bash black people and Mexicans and whatever race in public on TV, but you won't show your own dirty laundry. And I want to say one more fucking thing because I have to cuss. That's the language I learned in these schools around here. This is what I want to say, and, and, and this is the crux of it. Not all white people are the same. Not all news footage is... Why do you always see a white cop fucking with a black person or a Mexican person? It's rarely you see that white cop putting his foot in somebody white's ass because you don't want, as a society, white society, to see white criminals. You don't want to show white criminals because it reflects on all of white people. I'm talking about when you show one black guy do something, it reflects on all of black people. And throughout the course of my life, my life I've seen white people do things. White people will fucking raid the whole company that was built by the people in the town. Built, the, 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 the CEO will raid the company, get no jail time.
black guy steal a, a, a TV out of that same factory. A Mexican takes a, a, a Walkman off the thing. They go to jail. The CEOs have raped and plundered America. And no, their, their crimes, what do they, they get? Shit, $120 million to leave the company in what, five years probation? Don't go to jail, don't pay no money back? That's a white crime. Is it the fact that when white people commit crimes, they don't do small crimes? Or you don't report white people's small crimes? And then I mentioned that indica indica indicatively, in different pockets of the country, there's different uh, essences of the people that make up that pocket. I'm tired of living in a bubble here in California. You know, black on black crime, oh, ooh, white people don't do nothing, but shit. I know some white people will put motherfuckers underground, home invasion your ass. They don't get in trouble for shit. They don't get in trouble. They don't. So, when you look at the situation, the police don't police all the people. The media don't report to all the people on all the people for everything done by all the people unless you're in that pocket. A friend of mine told me, and it's a Hispanic man, he told me that a Mexican gang came out publicly and said they were going to kill white people. And they did it. And they put them in dumpsters. Shit didn't even get on the news. Didn't even hit the news. Didn't hit the news. So, but some black guys had did some shit the same day. I think they did carjack the lady. That was on the news. I mean, where is it in our society that we as a people have to be polarized? It's like going to a place and my friends are over here and your friends are over there and I know you so I come over and talk to you and while me and you are talking our friends are saying some negativity about us we go back to our perspective groups and everything is fine and shit and, and those people who just had nothing good to say about us are smiling in our faces best friends again we live in a society of people being controlled by what we see and what we hear. Not everybody black is a fucking criminal. And I'm tired of seeing it on these people's faces who claim they're my friend. Not you, Father Judgment. Not you, Lone Web Crusader. Not you, you. Not you or you or you or you. But them. It's them and us. I'm tired of hearing that. Them, those guys, they're up to it again. I'm so tired of it, man. And it weighs down on people. And I spoke out yesterday. I'm tired of fucking hearing white people bitching about black people doing crime when I have to see white people commit crimes and don't have to hear it, but don't hear about it. Where is the, the fair and balanced reporting on every situation? That's why there's no good news, because good news don't make money. Negativity. Ooh, we got to get these whites all stirred up because these blacks are fucking up their world. This ain't your world, white man. It's our world. You live in room 681. I live in room 685. And they live in room 686 and 484 and 3. This is one fucking world. And it don't belong to nobody. So when a group of people came to Africa and divided it up and built structure, what structure was built? If people migrated from north to south and life was good that way, what and who has the power to say life is better because of white people? Because of white people, I should be thankful because I'm in a house. I would have been in a house anyway. Might not be like this one, but I would be in the house anyway. Oh, you wouldn't even be in America if it wasn't for... Who says I wanted to be in America? Who says my ancestors weren't? Who says what? Some other white person. Not all white people fall constraint to these rules. Not all white people fall and follow these rules because if all white people were created equally, there would not be any poor white people. But the rich white man, the rich Italian, the rich European, don't give two shits about you or me. All hell the queen. 